A common uh, problem that we see men for is erectile dysfunction. A common question we get asked is, how do you know if you have erectile dysfunction? It is a very subjective uh, answer. Um, what one defines as erectile dysfunction, the other may not. What we generally define it as is a loss of rigidity in the erection uh, to where either the patient or his partner is not satisfied with the uh, rigidity of the erection. There's also an issue of, of keeping the erection, so uh, men that are losing the erection before they ejaculate. Uh, so it can be both. It can be getting the erection, difficulty getting the erection, and difficulty maintaining the erection throughout the sex act. There are several different options that we have to treat erectile dysfunction. Generally, we'll start with uh, oral medications. Uh, many of you have probably heard of these, the Cialis, the Viagra, and their generic equivalents. Uh, we also have some options of compounded medications where we combine these uh, with some other products as well to make unique preparations just based on the actual problem the uh, patient is having. If those fail or a patient has side effects to those medications, we can do penile injections. Uh, these are injections into the penis prior to the wanted erection. Those work really well. The erection lasts 45 minutes to an hour and a half. And then ultimately, if all of those options fail, uh, we have the ability to do penile prosthesis. Um, the most common one we place is an inflate, inflatable penile prosthesis that the patient's able to use when they're ready to have intercourse. So an important thing to realize that when a patient comes in, especially for the first time, complaining of erectile dysfunction is that it could absolutely be a sign of some underlying heart disease. And many times that's what drives the patient in is his erections, uh, when it, in fact it could be related to uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, other sort of metabolic issues that the patient may be uh, going through. So certainly a full workup is warranted in these patients to make sure that there isn't an underlying vascular or circulation uh, disease process that's going on that's creating this erectile dysfunction.